What's up, YouTube? Hello, Athena here, and I uh, am coming to you live from Paris. Uh, as you can see, Eiffel Tower. This is not a fake one. This is the real one in Paris, France. I shot a video a while ago uh, in front of the Eiffel Tower, kind of going through the science of the tower itself, what it was built for initially, what it eventually evolved into, and what it's possibly even still used for today. So I thought I would revamp that video. Let's do it! Okay, so first things first, the tower was built in 1889 um, for the Paris World's Fair. Um, it was meant to be a really big, beautiful attraction for the fair, and they were planning to actually tear it down after I think only about 20 years is what I was seeing. And I'm so glad they didn't because so many people get to enjoy it, and I think a lot of people travel here literally for the tower. So I bet Paris is really happy that they kept it. Now, a few reasons why they actually decided to keep it. The first thing was a radio and right on the top of the tower. So this very top part has a few different things uh, specifically for science. So uh, first it was built by Gustave Eiffel. That was the architect for the tower. But then you have physicist Henri Poincaré who did gravity experiments. So he installed a Foucault pendulum in there and the pendulum was measuring a few things. If you've ever seen a pendulum or a Foucault pendulum before, it helps us see the rotation of Earth. Uh, and this also helped us understand a little bit more about, well, general relativity and the Earth's gravity itself. You also have a radio antenna that was really important for radio transmissions. So they sent a telegraph from here to the Pantheon about four kilometers away. They also used the Eiffel Tower uh, for the first transatlantic um, radio signal. I believe this was 19... 15. I'll double check the number. What was so cool about this is this was one of the receivers for that. Another thing is they installed lightning rods. So lightning rods for my friends on here who um, have been to rocket launches before or have seen my videos at NASA, uh, lightning towers are extremely important. Uh, it helps to uh, disperse the lightning itself, disperse the energy itself. Airplanes also have this now on their wings. So lightning towers are really important. Start to move down the tower, right about to this first tier right here. So let's bring the camera down a bit. So that would be, I'd say the second floor. First floor would be this first one. Second floor, this is where uh, physicist Henri Poincaré did a lot of his research. This is where he actually had his, his experiment room, his office. Cool stuff to see up there. I'd love to actually go up there and see what it was like. Um, and then for moving further down, it's a restaurant now. I don't know what it was back in the day. Um, I think it was like relatively vacant, but now it's a restaurant. And we also have a, an elevator that runs up and down. So I think that's about everything uh, as far as experiments done, gravity research, every point care, and we'll see. I'll have to go look at my old video if you're interested. Check that one out. Uh, that was actually at the lawn under the Eiffel Tower, which is now closed. Uh, I think mainly because of the Olympics that's happening in about a month and a half. So and now I'm here instead of under there. And it is loud. Paris is a, a loud city, um, but it's fun. It's nice. I love it. A lot of energy here. So that is the Eiffel Tower. I'm gonna end the video right here, especially because of the ambulance. But I hope you learned a little bit about the science of the Eiffel Tower and why I'm so glad that it's still here today. Right. Bye everyone!